Well, had to pay some bills. Yo, what's good, everybody? We got a special video, man. We got a video for my boy Trey the Truth, not Trey, Trey the Goat. What of them? All right. Uh, you guys know I used to react to his videos a lot during quarantine, man. Uh, but he hit me up on Twitter, bro, and I see you guys uh, hit me up with this: AMP versus Two Height Five v Five. Now I gotta be Trey up, bro. You know what I mean? We 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 gonna win basketball. We 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 gonna win, bro. Like, bro, we got a whole Zach play college ball. LSK six ten, seven foot on a good day. He got me. And I mean, uh, I talked to Duke, and we were trying to like set something up, but uh, I think they when they got Chris, you know, one of the most athletic people, um, he actually got injured. So, you know, that, that's, that's going to slow down a lot of things. So, we actually are trying to get a 5v5 going on, y'all. Do not worry. We talked about it in the background, you know what I mean? So, we got this, though. Let's be trill. Let's see what my boy uh, Trey got saying. say there's no I in team. That team wins championships. That Wolves survive so long because they rolling packs or some nature shit like that. I don't know. A&P, too hype. Both pioneers in the YouTube community showing teamwork and collaboration just to get the job done. Honorable, very honorable. But nobody gives a fuck about that shit on this channel. The YouTube audience really wants to know AMP versus. Hey, if you got real good editing, bro. Real good. Who the fuck comes out on top? It's all about win. For any means possible. Beautiful editing, dog. But here's the problem, dog. This might be copyright, fam. You know what I mean, bro? You can't pay the copyright, copyright music in the back, bro. Got bills to pay, bro. You know what I mean, bro? We got fast forward this way. You feel me? I, I wish I could appreciate the graphic you put on us. You know what I mean? I wish, you know. But I got, I got bills to pay, man. To make or break a player. AMP, too hype. This part of the video is where I break down the skills attributes I came up with for each individual player. Hey, look at that figure out. Oh, oh, that. Similar to my top uh, five YouTube Hooper tier list video, and I thought it was the best video of last year, in my opinion. But I decided to change it up a little bit. You know, due to complaints, this time I, I just decided to use skill attributes strictly by numbers, meaning that, look, for the five categories of basketball, these ratings are not strictly my opinion, but they're strictly numbers and percentages and averages. So unless you're a number nerd who gets hard from uh, statistics and, and you know about standard deviation, mean, median, all that good stuff, I don't want to hear shit about shit. It sounds like, like you're talking about yourself, bro. It's like, so you're getting a little happy talking about these numbers. Our ratings, respectfully. So this means I'm gathering information of the sample size of the six from A and P and the six from two height. So these are the sample size and these ratings are going to depend on those 12 players. So for shooting, I use the total field goal percentage of mid range and threes. For finishing, I use the total field goal percentages of layups and post hooks. For playmaking, I use assist to turnover ratio and ball handling. For defense, I totaled the defensive player efficiency by just doing a whole bunch of math on steals, rebounds, opponent field goal percentages, and other factors, you know, like blow bys and, you know, shit like that. And it, it, it's actually way too much math. I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. It, it was so ridiculous. And lastly, Jeez. physical. So that means stamina, strength, athleticism. All of that was kind of... I guess majority opinionated, but it made sense if you know what I mean. Now, with that being said, here are the attributes for AMP, and here are the attributes. Hmm. Chris is nice, bro. They got Duke at ninety-one. Sheesh. We pause. Okay. All right. I mean. For that, that, that's gonna be the two the two problems are literally gonna be Chris and Duke. Honestly, be, just keep it in a stack, bro. Let's be real, y'all. You know? Too hype. Not fucking 80, 81? Bro! Hooper, 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 
Hoopers, Hoopers on YouTube. You got me fucking D plus, bro, shooting? My playmaker to see, bro. You got me out of 81, dude. 81, bro. I beat Jezzer. I beat Jezzer. Take a good look at the attributes and stuff. The only thing I want to I want to speak on. Okay, look. You see the overalls and stuff. Maybe your favorite player doesn't have the overall you thought he had. I'm just gonna say this. Think about it kind of like this, right? Because they have a higher overall than that person doesn't mean that they're better than that person. It all has to do with just skills and things that they have over a person. You get what I'm saying? And you shouldn't really think of it too much, like too hard. You get what I'm saying? Everything is just numbers. So when it comes to the average of these 12 players, if they're shooting above it, then they're gonna get like a C plus, B plus, A plus, whatever. If they're shooting below it, they're gonna get a C minus, D plus, D minus, F, whatever. So it's all numbers. So you can't say I'm just, I don't know what I'm talking about or anything. This is all numbers. So if you see your favorite player like, like, like LSK shooting C plus, that's because nigga, that's his, that's his shooting percentages. That's, that's, I can't, I can't do, I can't change the numbers. I can't change the numbers. If you see. Bro, no one believe in this shit, man. Hurry the fuck up this right here, man. MP's team overall is a 77. Two Hype's team overall is a 79. So it's a two integer difference between overall. So that's not that's not bad. And you, you feel me? It's it's a pretty much even series. Now let's see how it's gonna go with the matchups. So I decided the matchups mostly on play style, height, tendencies, and just things like that. So these matchups are interchangeable. Some of them are very interchangeable. Some some of the matchups you can switch on people. Who knows? It depends on how the game goes. You're gonna see that later. So obviously the game of basketball is a 5v5, and we got basically a 6v6 right here. So we're gonna start off with the bench players. I never seen him hoop. Muchi and Kai are kind of similar when it comes to height, so it's kind of a fair matchup. I think I believe Muchi just a little bit taller, but Muchi has a C minus three. He could shoot a little bit, especially when it's an off the dribble shot. You get me? He's a decent shooter. He settles for a lot of jumpers. His favorite moves are kind of like a cross up, sides up to a mid range or a three. He's not really a strong finisher, and he's kind of slow with and without the ball, and his defense is very poor, but he has a lot of potential. If he works on it, he could be a lot better and be more of a threat, especially outside. Now, Kai. Kai has no real strengths. He really looks to pass first when he's playing in a team setting, but he likes to try to stay in front of his defenders if that defender has basic ball handling and not that fast. But he does like to pump fake a lot when it comes to driving or when he's underneath the basket, he tries to pump fake, tries to get a ball up. But he's not really as much of a scorer. He can't really score as much. His shooting isn't bad either, but he can't sell the pump fake very well. It could be because he's like four feet tall. I don't know. But he's, <laughs> he sells it sometimes, man. And honestly, Kai shoot, the best thing to do is really leave him open because he can't airball that bin. If he makes it, it's lucky. I'm so pissed off, bro. I don't even want to talk in this video. Next, we got Jidel and Phantom. Jidel is like a 5'9, 5'10 Dirk. He's very slow with the ball. He has limited playmaking abilities. However, his post game is kind of efficient. He's able to shoot, but he's not very efficient when he's shot. But he can shoot. He can finish around the rim, especially when he's in position. He can. He's always in position. He gets a lot of rebounds. And that's why his defense is kind of up. It's really because of his rebounds. Now, he's not that athletic, but he can't finish around the rim. Phantom is not good at anything offensively, but he can <laughs> guard slower people. He has the strength for post defense, and he is liable to hit lucky shots or just make spontaneous out the, out the loop plays that you're just like, whoa, he really hit that? Phantom will really do some 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 dumb shit that looks crazy, but it's it actually it's actually a good play. But I don't know. That's just that's just his his, his his category, I guess. That's just his badge. I don't know. But he has that badge on Hoff, man. So Phantom is solid, but I wish he's just a little bit better, especially on offense, because he could really help them. Yeah, brown shirt, bro. Just, just saying, bro. Next we 
got agent and cash. Now, Cash, as we know, he's a pretty good defender. He's a, his defense is very solid. I feel like he could improve on D. He allows way, way too many line drive plays. He's not afraid to post, especially for easy buckets. He's a solid finisher, but his shooting number's been kind of low lately. It has. It has. But I, I, I ain't going to cap. You know, I, I've been more in the weight room and doing other things, you know. You know, but I mean, shit, I've still been winning. Uh, you know, but okay. Now, you see it's a D plus. Honestly, from the last video when I did the ratings, I think I had. I, 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 I betray y'all at least a C minus. I'm at a C shooting, a C minus, or a C plus. It went down. He's been shooting a lot of shots. And he's been breaking a lot of shots. I too. have. But I hey, have. Top of the key. That's because I, I have. I, I've been. I've been like playing and shooting around other spots other than top of the key a lot. You feel me? So you know, of course, my percentage is gonna look down. Agent's a poor shooter overall. He airballs a lot of threes. He probably airballs at least three times a game, bro. Like he, he he really can't shoot, but he shoots a lot. So he'll make some of them. Now he has his shot look good though. Game. He could. I just wish he could finish a little bit more, like finish better. But he's not that athletic. But he can bring a big body in post situations. So look. Hey, I feel like him and Cash would be a, a pretty good matchup, especially when Cash wants to post. Bro, I'll tell you something, bro. I can, I can, I can, I can bet money on this, bro. When it's five v five happen, bro, he's not guarding me. I can assure you that, bro. Man, what the hell he got to say, man? I might not even upload this video, bro. Come on, cuz. He disrespected my shot, bro. Disrespected me, my overall, bro. The fuck this dude proud, man, man? Come on, cuz. Wait, so Davis is guarding Zach? It's college play. Yeah, I, I think, I don't know, cause it's gonna be tough. I, I would say I think Chris, if he wasn't injured, he'll he'll be guarding LSK. Man, you got bro, we we got a tough lineup, bro. You know, for for them to guard, bro. I mean, Duke, Duke might end up guarding me, but I mean, who guarding Jezzer? So Duke gonna have to go down there and guard Jezzer. Oh man, it's, it's gonna be tough, fam. What you got to say, man? And if I feel like I can't decide, decide who will win within that matchup, I'll just tell me. Come on, man. What you got to say? I don't think that Moochie has that of basketball technically. However, I don't think that Moochie has that in the system to really be a takeoff factor. Moochie has shown where he can actually put up buckets even against people. He's done it against Cash Nasty. However, Moochie is not that consistent. Plus, you got to think about it. It is a team basketball game, so let's let's keep that in, in consideration. It's help, defense, and things like that. Catching and shooting within a rhythm, things like that. I think it would be a stalemate. Mm. That's just me personally. Who knows? Because Kai can't score to save his life, and Moochie can. However, I don't think Moochie has that in him to go on a scoring rampage to beat Kai. So you basically put this in 1v1 situations? In that bill, I do feel like Phantom can hold his own on defense against Jidel just, just for a little bit. But Jidel has way too much in his post-game baggage just to maybe take that edge off Phantom and really catch him off guard, get some buckets on Phantom. Also, Jidel can pass the ball pretty Next, let's look at Davis and Jidel. Now, the thing about Davis and Jidel, I do think that you mean Zach, bro. I can already tell, bro. You're nut riding right now, bro. Come on, bro. You don't even know Zach. Bro. No wonder why my rating so low. That I feel like Davis is at a disadvantage against Jidel, mainly because maybe if only Jidel Davis played a little bit better. Really, I facilitate the ball. I should I play and be second point goes to two height, so it's two zip. Next, we got Chris versus Jesser. That's gonna be tough. I ain't gonna lie, that would be tough. That, 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 that that's a tough one, you know. But he gonna end up guarding Crystal, man. 
too slow for Chris. I think Chris, that's just baby food for Chris. Chris could definitely get by him, score, finish, facilitate while doing so. And he He's nice. Chris, Chris nice. I think his defense would just be too suffocating for Jesser. That's just my opinion. I do think when it comes down to it, AMP gets their first W because Chris is beating Jesser. Next, we got Agent versus Cash. Now, Agent versus Cash. Now, I didn't beat Agent already. Boy, come on, man. Should I turn this video off or not, bro? Come on. Cash, this is, this is kind of iffy. Maybe you guys might agree. Some of you guys may disagree, but we're going to have our first upset. Me, personally, we see the overall 70 to 81, and this is what I'm talking about. Overall does not mean squat because a lot of Cash's overall points come from his physicals. That's what's really boosting his uh, overall up because if his physicals was the same as Agent, his overall would be, his overall would be maybe around a 75, 76. Bro, I ain't watching no fucking videos anymore, bro. Real talk, bro. You disrespectful as fuck, bro. Real talk, bro. I done beat this dude last year, bro. And then 1v1, bro. Bro, you hating, bro. I'm out this mother. Bro, get the hell, bro. 